You mix it with the sauce a little bit so it has a flavor. There's like this soulfulness to having a boiling pot in front of your face. The most important thing is cheese. What's going on everybody? Welcome to a very special episode of Fun Bros Food, the show where we travel around the world exposing you guys to new cultures and new foods, many of which are Asian. And that brings us to the Bay Area. So today we're gonna be walking you through and introducing to many of you the number one most expansive and most popular Taiwanese hot pot chain in America. Guys, I am talking about Tasty Pot. They fly in all their ingredients from Taiwan, from China, everywhere in Asia. They have 12 different flavors. They are expanding very quick from the West Coast all the way to the East Coast. One of my favorite things about Tasty Pot locations is that they have a lot of interesting artwork on the wall. It's very unique and very, very positive. Let's check out Tasty Pot. All right, I'm here with the founder of Tasty Pot, Jay. What is the secret to Tasty Pot's success? We are into everything from Taiwan and the China. And it's authentic and affordable. Now, Jay, how do I say the name Tasty Pot in Chinese? The name in Chinese is called uh, Wei Ding. So it means uh, cauldron. I got the culture, the Asian culture. The hot pot is actually sitting in what is replicated off of a ancient Chinese culture. All right, man, I'm excited. Go, Tasty Pot, Wei Ding. All right, what's going on, everybody? We are here with round one. We have the beef and lamb hot pots, but of course, we could not do a video in the South Bay without some South Bay natives. Hi, I'm Sarah from San Mateo. I'm Kaylin from San Jose. You guys, these are the two most popular flavors here at Tasty Pot. This is the beef pot, and this is the lamb pot. Would you say Tasty Pot is the most popular kind of individual hot pot chain in the Bay Area? Yeah, I think it's really popular. Yeah, all my friends like eat Tasty Pot all the time, so. Kaylin, I got a question. As a San Ho native, how proud are you to hear that a hot pot chain that started in San Jose is actually the most popular hot pot chain in America? Oh, I did not know that. I like that, definitely. Represent. <laughs> San Jose Saturday. That's my favorite Saturday, is San Jose Saturday. All right, so as far as these being the top two flavors at Tasty Pot, I can tell you this distinct kind of like sacha flavoring, it is distinctively Taiwanese, and it's not like from any other culture except just Taiwan, to be honest. They give you a ton of stuff here at Tasty Pot, inside the pot. Like, they, they, do. they don't cheap out. Moving on to the drinks, you guys, what do you guys have? I got a milk and black tea boba. And I got a black tea with sea cream on top. Here I have a matcha latte with boba here at the bottom. Boba is super competitive, but I'm not gonna lie, Acha does a pretty good job. It's a great complimentary side little boba shop that's inside a Tasty Pot. I like the crema a lot. Usually people don't really do well on crema, but it tastes actually really good. Boba and hot pot, that's a first date, guys. All right, so for round two, we got the lobster one with seafood, and then we have the Taiwanese Supreme one. But with us, we have... Hi, I'm Tylee, I'm from SF. Hi, I'm Kiana, I'm from San Jose. Tylee, what are we looking at here? So this is the Taiwanese Supreme, it's very traditional. And this is one of the funkier pots that they have here. They have the blood rice cake here. They also have some intestines in there. You know, stuff that I'm not gonna lie, even me, I'm not the biggest fan of. This is the lobster hot soup. As you can see, there's a giant lobster tail in this. When have you ever seen this anywhere? I absolutely love this pot because of the variety of seafood. They have more than just lobster. Here's the feature that I like about the Taiwanese Supreme. This super gelatin soft tendon right here, and I'm gonna eat it with the blood rice cake right here. Guys, this, the tendon is fire. This is what I'm all about. Yeah, so one of my favorite things about Tasty Pot compared to like any other soup or similar place to this is that Tasty Pot is very generous with their meats, their vegetables, their seafood. You definitely get your money's worth in octopus. That's a big one. They could give you the mini ones. They're giving you the medium ones. I don't really like to share, so I love that it's individual and you can just have it all to yourself and you can customize it however you want. That is true because sometimes people are like putting in this thing and that thing into the communal hot pot and it changes the broth's complexion for, sure. for everybody. And then you like lose it and then you're like, who took my shrimp and you don't have any shrimp? <laughs> you know I was reading is that there's like this soulfulness to having a boiling pot in front of your face that people really like find either exciting or therapeutic in a way. It does something to your soul. Were you surprised? Cause a lot of people like, they don't give you that high quality of a lobster tail mm -hmm. when they give you one cause they're trying to like cut costs. But I felt like they give you a pretty meaty one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it's a lot larger. And then sometimes it's like, like I said, it's dry. So it shrinks. This one, it was like very juicy and it stayed its size. And it made me feel like I was getting my money's worth with all that flavor. It's not too salty. It's very savory. It has that kind of umami flavor. And you can definitely taste that everything that's been cooking inside of the pot is showing slight hints inside of the flavor of the broth itself. 
Mine is so good. You can tell that it's not overly salty, but it has like that kick, the spice, and like the seafood. Everything is like marinating in its own flavor. It's Maybe a little really intestines, a little intestines. A little, a little intestines, but you know, it, it does no harm. I, what I love about hot pots is that the broth in itself has already a lot of flavor, and then you're just cooking all these other things into it, so it almost becomes like a stew broth. All right, round three is a special round because I am joined with some longtime friends, some of my first friends in the Bay. I got DJ E Tunes repping. Arena SF and also LA. And then here I got Cheryl. Hi. Cheryl used to work with you like 12 years ago. 13. 13, 13 years, ago. years ago. This is actually the first time I've seen you in person since. Oh, oh my god, yeah. Clearly we don't hang out very often. But guys, what special hot pot do you have right in front of you? Alright, so I got the Sichuan, the spicy one. I got the kimchi one and it has a lot of fillings. It's got the eggs and the dumplings. I got the stinkiest one of all. <laughs> I got the stinky tofu, aka the cho dofu. And this one's interesting because at a spot like Tasty Pot that, that kind of appeals to all types of people, you wouldn't expect them to still keep the tofu stinky, but right. they are keeping it traditional, so shout out to them. I don't know if you guys know this little trick. I learned this from like the cooking channel or Gordon Ramsay. I'm just gonna pour oh. some of my hot broth on top. Oh, cook it slowly. So wow, look how gourmet this is. You can get your individual pot, but you also have all the ingredients in front of you, just like a communal pot, so you can get like extra beef and put that in here. You can get the extra beef ball and even extra clams because I got them as side dishes. So I would recommend, if you got a party, you all got your individual hot pot, but then you get some extra size so that people can pick and choose. Definitely an acquired taste, but when you get around to it, it's actually pretty good, so. So what I like about this is I get the best of both worlds. So this is almost like a Korean dish, yet a Chinese dish, which is like the food at Jigae. Right now during COVID, during the pandemic, you don't have to share, you won't have to worry about getting sick, you have your own pot, so that's really good too. I love spicy food, but when you taste this broth, you could definitely tell yeah, the peppers are straight from Sichuan. I love the community aspect of hot pot, but not everyone loves spicy, but I do. So what's perfect about this is I can have as hot as I want, Enjoy it all I want. Yeah, so one thing I really like about Taste Pot, they'll come around and refill your broth once too much has been drinking or evaporated. Thank you. Round four, the last and final one here at Tasty Pot in the South Bay. I have a vegetarian broth. This looks really Japanese, almost like it reminds me of this one dish I had in Japan called Chanko Nabe. I think this is gonna be a great option for anybody. The broth is vegetarian. All the rage in 2021, everybody wants to be healthy. What do we got here? Next up, we have the curry-based hot pot with a lot of fish balls and meat. So right here is my absolute favorite soup here at Tasty Pot. It's the cheesy milk hot soup. In here, there's a wide variety of a lot of veggies. Like you can see like tomato, broccoli, and they also have a lot of proteins. And the most important thing is cheese. <laughs> cheese is absolutely the most superior food. It goes well with everything. Adds that right amount of saltiness, umami, and creaminess to every single thing that you add. So this is the Thai flavor, and it's based off of tom yum, which is my go-to whenever I eat Thai food. And I love how tangy and savory the broth is. And we've got some crab in here. It's like the right amount of salty and flavorful. Here we got the Japanese. It has the miso broth and udon and crab and of course the egg on top. Yeah, so having been to a lot of hot pot places, I think Tasty Pot is the best just because of the variety of flavors and how authentic this tastes. Normally I get tom yum and so this has a lot more protein and a lot more options in it than a regular tom yum. I love how tangy the broth is. It's not too salty and it really stands out with the umami flavor as well. With 12 flavors, I have a lot of choices and I don't have to eat the same thing every time. I mentioned earlier how this is my favorite broth. A lot of people actually get like this conception where, oh, it looks really bland. But if you feel like it's bland, which is not, you can go ahead and add any sauce that you want. I'll be adding the sauté sauce to add a little bit more flavor. And then you'll notice the broth starts to change a different color and they can always adjust to your liking. They also have a lot of other sauces that you can add, such as chili oil, a soybean garlic paste, but I prefer to go with the saute the most. Do you guys feel like Tasty Pot is a good place to go hang out with your friends before you guys like go out and stuff like that? Yeah, definitely. definitely. It's very customizable, so it kind of appeals to everyone's taste buds, and plus like boba, the Bay Area, we love boba, so it's all in one place, you don't have to drive around. If anybody has allergies or is like picky about food, they can just go get their thing, and your preferences don't have to impact them, because we're not being problematic in 2021, or enforcing our desires on other people. So there's a little fun fact about Tasty Pot. If you actually like one of their broths, but let's say you like the fillings of this, you can actually pay just a dollar more to get this broth with this filling. Another quick hot pot tip is don't wear white pants like I did. Luckily, I'm an expert, so I think I'm mostly okay. 
All right, ending off this Bay Area meal with our friends here at Tasty Pod. They are heavy out on the West Coast, but they are trying to open up more locations on the East Coast. And David, we live out in New York right now, and it is cold in the winter, so they could use some more Taiwanese hot pot out in New York City, so. Huge shout out to Tasty Pod for sponsoring this video. If you guys want more information about possibly opening one up in your area, make sure you click on the YouTube description below. We are in the South Bay area right now. Shout out to you guys, and Archie you guys, we out. Peace. Bye. All right, you guys, that does it for that very special South Bay episode of Fun Bros Food. I can see why Tasty Pot has 35 locations and is expanding. America needs more Tasty Pots, and here's why, because they're actually making authentic Taiwanese hot pot, like accessible and relatable and fun for everybody. It's that right mixture of authenticity, tradition, but also kind of like blending it with like, you know, new school kind of fusion, I, westernized style, I, like, and it's, it's healthy too. I really don't feel heavy after eating all that. I would say there's this sprinkle of San Jose litness. Make sure you check out Tasty Pot, delicious and affordable. Big shout out to them, man. I'm glad that we were able to come out all the way to the Bay just to do this. And yes, they are trying to open more out in the East Coast. I really think New York needs one, man. Let us know what you thought in the comment section below. Follow everybody on IG. Until next time, we out. Peace. Peace. No, 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 no,